up? We are here at Hugh and Jeff's Car Wash and Grill, which is an interesting combination. And we've got an arm wrestling tournament going on. This is a weird, it's arm wrestling, car wash, and grill all in one. But as you guys know, I come from a gymnastics and then powerlifting and then bodybuilding background. I'm still focusing on bodybuilding, but today I'm trying my hand at arm wrestling, no pun intended, and I'm gonna see how I do in an actual tournament. You guys have probably seen me practice pull, you've seen me training at the gym, but here we've got referees and we've got people who are ready to try to eat me alive. So we're gonna see how I do. Once, once you get it in, they're already like this, then your elbow can separate. So once they're already defending, then I can move my elbow forward on the pad? One, yeah, once you stop it, you already got the shoulder line, so then your elbow can come forward a little bit. And then once it comes forward, do now, I try to way, get my body over my, over my elbow? Yeah, I mean, only your elbow moves, but your hand stays in the same spot. Uh -huh. So it looks like this, and you do that, so when they surge, they surge into your arm. I'm learning the keys. Yeah, if you do that, your chest part levels up. Number one in Texas, period. But yeah, no, you should be fine, Learning how to arm wrestle as I'm about to do a tournament. I just took a For someone in a top role, I'm just gonna kind of set up because I need to be able to like move forward. Yeah, yeah. So instead of being here, I don't really have much movement. So I'll kind of start here and then. Okay, because I, I, I was wondering like, if I'm gonna hook you. Uh, I, would only, like, I would set up like this for a top role. I'm gonna set up like this. I'm gonna. You would try to, you, you would top roll out, you would just pull out. Yeah. Oh, even if I can't to... top roll, I would just, yeah. I'd be very strong. So you can just grab that, and buy support. Yeah. So just yeah. Grab, yeah. Grab, grab. yeah, I mean, I'm not that experienced, but how I set up kind of depends against who I'm pulling, if I know how they pull. But in general, I'm going to set up pretty standard. Like, just set up, you know? Yeah. And then just kind of just have yeah. everything super tight. Yeah, super tight. And kind of be ready for anything. Yeah. Like, usually I'll go right into side pressure just or side pull, pressure the cup. Or, or Sure. Pretty big for my size. I've heard that before. I just have, like, thick fingers. This guy's got the biggest hands. I've been, I mean, I've met basketball players. I met professional arm wrestlers. Look at this. Oh my God. All right. So on one table, I just found out they're they're doing open the like the pro guys on one table, and then they're doing the amateurs on the table right next to it. So I'm gonna have to be like swapping back and forth between tables and some of the guys are gonna be kind of weak and then the others are just gonna be so fucking strong. It's a gaming supplement, but it's a focus supplement and that's what I need right now. Absolutely. So in the open, in the pros, they started high and they're working their way down the weight classes. But in the amateurs, they're starting low and they're working their way up. I happen to be in the weight class right in the middle. So it's looking like, because they're in the weight class right above me for pros and the weight class right below me for amateurs right now. So it's looking like I'm gonna have to do both at the same time. by James, James. Kit, Josh Hayward, Kit Evans, Josh Hayward, Alright, yeah, so it looks like I'm doing both at once. So I'm not gonna have much, I'm not gonna have much rest in between. Alex and Russ, table two. Alex and Alex, Russ, the road, table two. Go! 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 Go
First, first open went well. It looks real. This guy's gonna crush me right here. This is his recommendation. I do it all the time. Will and Lewis, game two. Game English, he's angle one. Go! 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 I just went. I get like a. I I would like curl in, but towards the end, my hand was so blown up that I couldn't curl my fingers enough. So I was just kind of, I had this limp grip like this, and then I had to turn to a flop wrist press where your wrist goes back. Is that what you were talking about when they were hey, man, a yeah, job, dude. Thank Amazing. you. Yeah, second, right? Uh, third and open, and then open. first in the amateur. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Thank you. Ready, go! Go, arms up! Winner on table two is James English, who is not winner on one. Table one, table three, Brian Carter. Two. Go! All right, so they called it a parallel pin for me, which means I, I won. I felt bad though, because I don't think I pinned him, but at least I won. That guy was strong as shit. That guy was so strong. Good shit, bro. So, you're the only person that's been able to hold on to me when I try to swim. You know that? 
Look, but with what you're doing, you should just uncap. Whenever I'm gonna go inside and shop with my pinky, I don't want to be capped. I'm leaning up here, I have a gap here to try and fight through. Uh -huh. Now I'm already down there, right? And then I also can stop people from using their pronation to top roll me. So I've been trying to start in a position where I can slip my hand out, but the guys in right arm are way stronger, so they're actually not even letting me slip. They're gripping onto my hand. All right, let's run that championship match over there on table two. Winner, James, and your right hand champion. Yeah, I kind of. Jaime Gonzalez. Jaime Gonzalez. Jaime Gonzalez. Amateur champ, both arms, baby. Dude, the people here are strong as shit, especially right arm. Because every right arm is like, that's the biggest thing, right? Like, everyone cares about right arm. You hardly hear about left arm matches anymore. People just don't really do them as much. So, there was like twice as many people for right arm as there were for left. And those guys were strong as shit. I couldn't even slip to the strap. Um, they were just holding on to my thumb. And I got into some weird positions there. But, we came out victorious with a nice little shiny gold medal. So, that was crazy. I'm hooked now. All right, so that's going to wrap up the arm wrestling tournament. I ended up bringing home the dub on left and right. For amateurs, I dropped out of open on right arm because I just wanted to focus on the amateurs because that's what most people care about is right arm. So I knew the competition was going to be tougher there. And also Dan Mosier, Mosier was there. Um, he's a legend in the sport and he just steamrolled everyone. So I knew that there was no way I was going to place in open anyway so i figured i would just focus my attention on amateur plans for the future i'm not done with bodybuilding i plan on doing a pro show next year after i get my injury taken care of which i'm gonna have an injury update video coming soon and i also got a dog now her name's luna so if you guys enjoyed this video you can drop a comment you can check the description for all of the pertinent links and information and if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, oh, but I'm not done. Plans for the future. I'm going to keep pursuing arm wrestling as well. I'm going to do both bodybuilding and arm wrestling. I'm still training bodybuilding. So I still do upper body workouts and limited leg workouts, which basically just consist of lightweight, high rep, isolation movements, um, just so they don't atrophy too much. I'm kind of kind of just maintaining what size I can there. I want to compete in another arm wrestling tournament by the end of the year and uh, just keep practicing until then. So anyway, with that, good night. Well, you're probably not watching at night, but good night.